what is macular degeneration? Well, the macula is the name given to the central part of the retina or photographic film at the back of the eye. It is the most hard-working, sophisticated bit of tissue in the body, responsible for high-definition central vision and colour vision, and enables us to read, write and recognise faces. The retina receives light, focused by the lenses at the front of the eye, and changes the light to electricity to send along the nerves to the back of our brain, where we actually perceive vision. The cells that convert this light to electricity are called rods and cones, or photoreceptors, and are in fact the hardest working cell in the body and has the greatest demand for oxygen and sugar. For them to work so hard, they need their own blood supply and this is called the choroid, which is directly underneath the rods and cones. In order to work as efficiently as they do, they need to recycle material. Now, unfortunately, we're not designed to live as long as we are currently living and this recycling process becomes less efficient as time passes. Eventually, the material cannot be fully recycled and waste products are produced which deposit in the retina and these are sometimes called drusen. The high energy process of changing light into electricity can also produce toxic chemicals called free radicals and these also damage the cells as time passes. These wear and tell processes also result in inflammation which aggravates the damage. Most patients with macular degeneration have the dry variety where drusen are seen in the retina, but a small number of patients develop the wet variety. For reasons we still do not fully understand, abnormal blood vessels uh, develop um, uh, into the, uh, from the choroid into the retina and they can rupture and these abnormal blood vessels can hemorrhage or leak, causing fluid uh, accumulating within the retina and waterlogging of the macula. Sometimes dry changes can be very severe with large patches of the macula not functioning and this is termed geographic atrophy. If wet changes are not caught early and treated then the swelling and hemorrhage that results from wet macular degeneration eventually converts into a scar and this is sometimes called a discoform scar because it's often disc shaped. Both geographic atrophy and discoform scars unfortunately are not able to be treated medically but even these severe forms of macular degeneration only affect central vision and people do not go blind with this condition as they always maintain useful peripheral navigational vision which makes them remain independent and magnifiers can usually help with central visual tasks such as reading and writing. Thank you.